imaging contrast dyes like iodine can damage your kidneys. Now, unfortunately, sometimes we have injuries where we can get problems in our arteries or our joints. I send people out for MRIs all the time and only if it's absolutely necessary do we use a contrast dye. And the reason why is because I don't feel as though it's worth damaging the kidneys to see the stuff I need. Like I said, unless it's absolutely necessary. Unfortunately, sometimes it's necessary. So if you're having a heart problem and they put an IV in you with a contrast dye so they can visually see where that contrast is going through inside the arteries, unfortunately, those that contrast dye is not isolated to your heart. It'll go through your entire system. And then once it gets to the kidneys, it can damage the kidneys. This is so common and people end up with kidney failure because of this in certain circumstances. The name for it, and you can just look this up, is called contrast nephropathy. And that's just a fancy way for saying, we did a test, your body didn't react well to the contrast dye, and now we've damaged your kidneys. So what is the solution to this? Well. In certain circumstances, you have to have it done, but if you're having this test done, then it's very, very important, and usually the, uh, the tech will tell you this, that you need to drink a lot of water, so much so that for a short period of time that the urine comes out almost clear, a very light yellow. If your urine is coming out a dark yellow, then you're simply not hydrating enough. You need to flush those kidneys out because those kidneys are gonna be working overtime to try to get rid of the dye that's inside your arteries. In fact, if you're in a hospital, many hospitals will give you an IV fluid to make sure that they don't damage the kidneys. Because like I said, this is very, very common. In addition to that, the other solution is if you're seeing an orthopedic surgeon or you're seeing a doctor of chiropractic and they're ordering an MRI or a CT scan and they're thinking of using contrast, ask them if it's absolutely necessary. Sometimes you can actually see what, what you need to see without contrast. Now, if it turns out that we're looking for something and contrast would be an ideal situation and you want to have the MRI or CT without the contrast first, if we see what we see, then that's great. If we don't see it, then you have to repeat the procedure again. Now, in the case of an MRI, there's no radiation. So doing another MRI is really just a matter of it's just a matter of price, of cost. It just costs more money. Uh, a CT scan, though, uses x-rays. If you have to do a repeat test, now you're not only getting the contrast dye, but you're also getting more radiation. So that's something to consider. And when you, like I said, when you talk to your do a doctor who's an orthopedist or a doctor of chiropractic and they're ordering MRIs or CT scans, you need to consider that. Do you need more magnesium in your life? You need to eat more vegetables. And I know what you're thinking. Eat vegetables and your greens from grass. The problem with eating this is it's been fertilized. It has dog poop on it because of our frickin' neighbors who have their dogs come and poop on our lawn and never clean up. So it's a little bit dirty. You wanna get your magnesium, but you wanna eat your greens, but you can't. What's the solution? Here's the solution, Magnesium Breakthrough by Bioptimizers. It's got seven different types of magnesium. I take two at nighttime. 500 milligrams of magnesium at nighttime puts me to sleep, helps me recover. That way I just don't have to eat all my greens. Link and discount code down below in the description. If you have specific questions in regard to blood pressure, your own health and wellness, we actually do Zoom appointments as well as telephone appointments. We do these Zoom and telephone appointments from all around the world. So you're more than welcome to call our office, schedule an actual Zoom or a telephone consultation with me. And what we're gonna do is we are going to section off a piece of our day just to speak to you and answer all your questions. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below. You can get to my website and then just contact us. Now there is a fee for a Zoom or telephone consultation, so it's not free, but I can promise you this, you're gonna get your money's worth.